Hey guys, how are you? So a quick vlog. Somebody sent me an email and said, I'm learning CSS now and I'm running into troubles. It's very difficult. I'm having headaches. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it. Steph, she puts to me, Steph, can I take a break? Is it okay that I take a break? So the short answer is, of course, of course, take a break. You got to think of learning something new. It's very much like exercising, lifting weights, working out. Anybody who does regular exercise knows that the rest period in exercising is just as important as the exercising itself. So if you do some heavy lifting, weightlifting or whatever, next day you're going to be sore. Should you train again? No. No. You shouldn't train again. You should give your body a rest, especially when you're just starting out. Very advanced People will be able to train more often because their bodies will be able to heal more quickly and they're just more sophisticated in terms of their, of their approach. But when you're just a normal everyday person and you're working out and you're training, you got to give your body time to rest. You have to give your body time to rest and you got to give it the fuel it needs, you know, the, the nutrients that it needs, drink lots of water, et cetera, et cetera, lots of sleep, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The exact same thing applies when you are learning CSS, JavaScript, HTML, what have you. Whatever you are learning, you are literally tasking your brain in a physical way to learn, to acquire, to assimilate new knowledge. And because of that, it's going to reach a certain point where it needs to a time to process this and to assimilate it properly. So that means that you need to rest. So when you come to a point where you just can't, it can't sink in anymore, where the information is just becoming more and more difficult, your brain seems to be resisting the acquisition of new information, it's becoming strained. At that moment, that's your brain saying, okay, we've trained enough, it's time to take a break to assimilate. You see this a lot in actual software development, actual coding, where you may be an expert coder with five years experience, 10 years experience, 20 years experience, and you come to a problem and you work on it and you work on it, you work on it, and you can't solve the problem. You just can't. It's like it becomes worse and worse, it seems. As you do more and more work, it becomes worse and worse. You seem to be finding yourself going down these rabbit holes that are, that are leading you nowhere. So what do you do in those situations? Well, smart developers know that you've got to back away and do something else. Work on another problem, or better yet, take a break, go do some exercise, do anything opposite of coding. You got to give that part of your brain chance, a chance to process. And what happens almost 99% of the time, you come back to that problem the next day or two days later, and all of a sudden, this problem, which seems so difficult and insurmountable, exceptionally complex, all of a sudden, it becomes within like 30 seconds obvious what the solution is. Why? Because you've given your chance, you've given a chance uh, for your brain to properly assimilate the information. That is the key. So going back to learning CSS. Yes, if you're learning CSS and you find yourself where you're hitting your head, you're hitting the head against the wall and you're just not making progress, that's a sure sign that you got to give your brain a chance to, to, to rest and assimilate. Do something else. It's perfectly fine. In fact, it is advisable. My web development training system, well, my code training platform does beyond web development, of course. I teach JavaScript, CSS, Python, PHP, SQL. I teach, anyway, I teach all kinds of stuff. Shameless self-promotion, for sure. Links below. Anyhow, that system is literally designed, I developed my own custom system well, with my team. We developed a custom system to teach code super effectively because the fact I've been teaching for so long since the time of the dinosaurs, literally I had one of the first code courses in the world, 2003. And I know how people learn, I know how the brain works, and as such, especially when it comes to learning code, there's something specific there, as such I designed the system accordingly. I designed the system so that it makes it easy to take breaks and come back and to go, pick it up where you were before, amongst a bunch of other things. So. Yeah, take a break, it's advisable. I say spend maybe two hours a day, three hours a day learning at the most. Some people who are more advanced could do more, uh, but don't 
stress yourself. You're better to do an hour a day, four days a week, than to try to do five hours uh, in a single day. You're gonna retain much more by doing that one hour a day. And if you come to a situation where you're trying to learn CSS or anything else, and it's particularly challenging, then take a day off, relax, do some exercise. Exercising helps the brain. Drink some water, etc. If you can, if you're healthy, drink some coffee, helps with synapses. And then what you do is you come back to it a day or two later when you feel refreshed, feel relaxed, and sit down and start doing it. If you hit the wall again, just do 20 minutes. And you're hitting that wall 20, 25 minutes. Stop. Come back again. Sometimes it may take an extra few more days for your brain to assimilate that information. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if it takes you an extra two days, an extra two weeks, an extra two months. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because once you get it, that's the great thing about learning to code or learning anything, really. Once you get there, it can't be taken away, first of all. So that's one reason you want to learn. And the second reason you want to learn is that nobody knows how long it takes you to get there. Nobody knows that it took you a month to get there or a year to get there. Because once you have those skills and you can demonstrate those skills and you can prove that you have those skills, it doesn't matter how long it took you. In the real world, it doesn't matter. So yeah, take breaks. Consider it part of the learning process to give your brain time to assimilate the knowledge. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.